Hey Dino Dudes, what's going on? It's me, the Meteor Raptor, and I'm back with a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to take a look at a 2010 Japanese animated movie. That movie is Redline. Now, this is another film I bought off Amazon only because I heard about it over on Emru Prevost's channel where he did a reaction and review to it. And pretty much, I... He has really good taste in movies and I believe his opinion is often very strong and very true. And he was talking about how this film was fantastic, so... And I love... Uh, sorry. I love Japanese animes. And pretty much, I did some research and this is kind of like Oban Star Racers, just a lot darker. And it pretty much is, and it also has a lot of sci-fi elements and all that kind of stuff, and a lot of... The film is great, you know what? I'm just gonna kind of break it up into parts. The writing is incredibly strong, the story... It's... A... The story is a bit shallow, but you know what? It's a race. But then there is more going on than you think. But you have to watch and find out, because I'm not gonna spoil that. All the characters are really likable. Like, there was not a single unlikable character. Every single one of them has depth, has a personality, and they're all very distinct. They're all very, this is this person, this is that person. You can kind of tell who's who. Uh, the acting is the one lone part where there was a, where there was a problem. And that's because this movie is so intense, the English dub at least, they couldn't keep up with it. But that's only because this movie was so intense and going so hard that, you know what? I'm gonna totally let that slide. The animation, you guys, um, if you'll remember my Batman The Dark Knight Returns review, I was saying how this was some of the best animation I had seen. This is the best animated movie I have ever seen, ever. And unless you guys can challenge that, and I'm totally up for it, but this is the best animated movie ever made that I've seen. The artwork is stunning and beautiful. The effects, like the... Sh the shading is amazing. The whole thing looks like it's a giant comic book come to life. And I love that. That's why I loved Watchmen. I loved Scott Pilgrim vs. The World 300. Because all of them had that kind of a feel to them. The music was absolutely stunning. The pacing was incredibly strong, and you guys, this is a, a fantastic movie, and I can totally recommend it, but there is two things I should warn you about. One, this movie loves to dip into toilet humor, and I was laughing a lot during the movie because the toilet humor is great. And second, this movie swears a lot. Like you guys. This thing is pretty much at the level of Quentin Tarantino for swearing. And that is really cool, at least to me. But you know what, if you can look past it, you can just kick it over to the Japanese dub and put on the subtitles. Oh, that too. Uh, because I was doing some work when I was first watching this, I had the subtitles on. These subtitles do not match the English dub. And I have a feeling it actually was the subtitles were for the Japanese dub, not the English dub. So I'm going to let that slide as well. But yeah, you have to be okay with the, that kind of stuff, and you have to be into anime to really like this. You have to be into race films to like this. But if you are, you're gonna come in here and see a truly amazing film that scores a very solid four raptor claws. You guys, I got this thing for 10 bucks on Amazon. Those were 10 of the best dollars I ever spent. You guys need to check this movie out. I've seen this thing at least four times now, and I'm gonna keep watching it, because it is fan Fantastic. No matter how many times you see it. So yeah, you guys. We're actually starting to near 50 episodes for the Media Raptor reviews. Like, I've almost hit 50 episodes. And if I've gone over it, I don't care. I actually have a sort. I actually have a thing planned out for when I hit 50 episodes, and it's gonna be kind of special. But thank you for getting me this far. And until next time, this is the Meteor Raptor saying, keep cool, and I will see you dino dudes around.
Hey guys, if you want to see my review on Open Star Racers, click the video on the right. And if you want to see my guide on how to survive the Fan Expo on Comic Con Hangover, click the video on the left.